Hello and howdy ho there everybody! My name is Foxy Games and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV full story playthrough. In the last episode we freed some villagers. They weren't exactly happy to be freed because they've been broken basically. Well we'll see what we can do about that. And Jesus Christ Gosetsu, you're almost twice as tall as me. Fucking, fucking Rogadin. Anyway we need to talk to him so. I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Referring, of course, to Yugiri, who, in the last episode, kind of stormed off, thinking that it's best to go and try and kill Zenos herself. Those, at least, are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Yeah, we do need to go and find Yugiri. She would be in Namai. And it's raining again. Oh, this guy's got an umbrella. That's kind of cute. She's down here. Yugiri, I broke my legs to come talk to you, so you better be happy with it. Did Gosetsu send you to did did yeah, did Gosetsu send you to stop me? Then you came of your own free will? I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it is not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scant moments ago, I received the Crown Prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. It would seem that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the Moon Gates this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort, and will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Foxy. I will. You mean, we will kill him. Or die trying. You understand the risks. Forgive me, of course you do. Mayhap better than I. I mean, I did fight him. But are you sure? Positive. Thank you. Thank you. I, I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuka Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends. And they only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to. Don't you do anything stupid, kid. Alright. Wow, all the way over there with no etherites between us. That's awesome. Alright, oh, these things. I know they're probably supposed to be spoopy, but I think they're really pretty. They're like weird water lady things. Spirits, I guess. Well, I always thought they were really pretty. It's a fucking Namazu. Come, come! Should you desire shelter, Yuzuka Manor is open to all. All deadly beasts I will dispatch. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I guess we're not supposed to go inside. Good, because I hate these things. That is far enough. Let us discuss our plan of attack. We can look at these. Hmm, just in plain old pants. 
And a long skirt. And another long skirt. We'll take the materia. Xenos' itinerary is as follows. He will depart Doma Castle by ship and approach the moon gates. The Magitech field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue on to these very docks where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Okay. I mean, I can definitely see them checking this sort of place, but, you know. Surrounded by walls and deserted, this location appears to be ideal for concealment. For a short time, maybe. Ah, there you are. Hmm, from the roof we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We shall lie and wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no consequence, which means that we will have a two-on-one advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. Yeah, we know that already. We're really doing this, aren't we? Well, let's kill Xenos. All that remains is to wait. I trust that you are ready? Absolutely. He comes. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. a province than a graveyard, the rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Y yes, of course, my lord. I I and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. They're all terrified of this guy, as they should be. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. And me without my brute. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyan! For Doma! 
Didn't even get to animate us. What? Are you fucking- What a fucking retard. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? You- Really, dude? I am beyond annoyed. Okay, now that we're back where we were before... Fucking moron. Drawing enemies right there. Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come. Earn the honor. I want to see you bleed, Xenos. For the last encounter we had. The text goes by too quickly at the top, otherwise I'd read it. Ah, uh, he's still hard to hit. Doing better than last time. Oh, there was one there. Well, ow. No, oh, that's the wrong button. We're gonna hallow ground and heal. You know, I'm gonna have you come to me with your stupid little flames. I suppose you've earned this. This is not a game, you twisted, arrogant bastard. This day you die. Wait. Leave this to me. Oh dear. So empty. All right. Oh, what's going on? Ow. Well done, beast. You have earned the right to look in on the Ame no Habakiri. Holy shit. What is this? Kami for Fend. No, I must fight on. I must. Run. Well, I have to say, I quite like that they're using this theme. Because you don't get to hear Bite of the Black Wolf for very long when you fight Gaius.
more flames. Yeah, I'm not just gonna walk into them. Should be safe here. You're better than most, I'll grant you that, but not good enough. This ends now. I see. Oh. Geary. Ah, I remember you, Alamigo, the champion of the savages. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see Azure lost amidst the squall. Did we do that? Oh, how right I was to spare your life. Hear me, hero. Endure. Survive. Live. For the rush of blood, for the time between the seconds live, for the sole pleasure left me in this empty, ephemeral world, live! You Gary, no! Yeah! You are not worthy. No, don't. You must. You must flee. We're not going anywhere, do you hear me? We're not running away! What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it, but here we are! I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg, for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away, but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Dorma! Death is death, regardless of the reason. Such a nihilist. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. 
Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. How wrong you are! Now, Gazetsu, see to Yugiri. Hi. Time to run. I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! My lord? I dare say this guy's psychopathy might have saved us. Tis not that we're not here with time. Uh, it's all right. Here, have some water. Well, we finally got through to some of these people. I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head, but I am heartily glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphino. He's at the House of the Fierce, patiently waiting your, awaiting your gratitude. You should have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Yugiri's plan, and how you, of all people, had decided to help her. He was in such a panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As were you. I was rather composed, as I recall, though that is neither here nor there. Aw, oh, Ali say. I dare say. That went better than we'd hoped, worse than we'd feared. Right. Everyone okay? Everyone ready, rather. Well, Issei, you're in the thick of it now, buddy. Could you believe it? We faced the Crown Prince himself and lived to tell the tale. You've no idea what this means for us. Everyone's talking about getting more weapons and armor and... and... And we're not going to stop until we've taken back our homeland. Uh, right. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We've got wounded to tend to first. We should get back to the village. Found your balls, kid. Good. I... I can manage on my own. If you say so. I dare say you had it worse than I did. Oh, why should I ride back when I can just teleport? How are you feeling? After fighting that demon, I can only imagine. I suppose I ought to apologize you f to you for, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. The shinobi, too. How are you feeling, my lady? Much the better for my comrades' ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. Now oh, their tune has changed entirely. Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Gosetsu, Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety, and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, 
I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. And there they are! Alphino. Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. You probably would have. What? You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signaled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time with whom I was privileged to share a room. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. There's a new hope burning in our eyes. I will be traveling to the Azim Steppe, Foxy. I found Lord Hien once before, and I am confident I can do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the question of Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver him to, uh, to him our people's reply. Very true. My injuries are of no moment. You need not fear for me. Good. Our countrymen's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. 
It would be with great comfort to see him again, and no small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I should add. I will wait no longer to greet my young lord and master. Nay, I should be glad to accompany you, Giri, and bring him back home. How about you, Lise? What do you have to say? I wonder what kind of man he is. From what I heard, he's about the same age as me. And then there's this Fordola, who isn't a whole lot younger th than us both. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known. But unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things. I don't think I could stand waiting around for them to get back. I want to go too. The more the merrier in this case, I'm sure. Alice and Alphano. In the meantime, how shall I occupy myself? The beloved king returning to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in Charlien or Ulda, is it? It's always raining here. Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm-hmm. Doubtless you speak from personal experience. As much as this Lord Heian intrigues us, Foxy, there are vital tasks to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Doma Castle, for one. There's also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane, dealing with this troublesome etherite. I could go on, but you understand. As I said before, we have a million things to do here. Much as Alphano and I would love to join you in the search, we cannot. Right, brother? Aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We shall depart for the Azim Step at once. You will be joining us, Foxy! For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Doman Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence, and instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you'd better contact us. Noble sacrifices are our last resort, remember? Follow me, my friends. We have many moms to travel before we reach Reunion. Wait! Don't leave yet! Here, take these for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we can do for you after all you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When we come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. There's the fire of revolution. Meanwhile, in the keep of Doma Castle. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. Look. 
the cause of your petty hatreds. They render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty, now, or die with the rest of them. Oh, are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want her dead. I want her friends dead. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... You mean I can finally go after her? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. You can try. Meanwhile, in the fringes of Girabanya, we're getting updates from all over. Well, look who it is. Aye, this is the place. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. be the work of the eyes. What choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. And you thought this was the last we'd seen of Estinian. He's out there doing some investigating of his own. Perhaps into a familiar dragon. So, um, what kind of place is the Asim Step? About to find out. I should not be surprised that he sought refuge in the Step. We were separated during a skirmish in the Northern Mountains. A pity we had no time to speak at length, but there is no rest for the righteous. Godspeed. We both have long roads ahead of us. Good luck to us both, eh? It really has been some time since we've been separated like this, huh? If all are ready to depart, let us... De uh, if all are ready, let us depart for the reunion in the Azim Steppe. Our route will be somewhat circuitous. We will need to return to the Ribby Sea and head north along the coast past Asari. Well, I plan to make it easier on myself. We have only one ether current left to get, and it's really fucking far. <sighs> and there's also a quest here to do. <laughs> Two quests, actually. Let's see what they are before anything else. Alright, well I've got good news. We're not doing either of those quests. They're beast tribe things. So, um, we don't, we don't give a fuck. I'm going to go get the last of the ether currents here, and then we will head out to Yangxia. Or, um, wherever. Isari. Fuck. Oh, it's so nice to be able to fly. 
the, the ether current stuff is way more spread out in Stormblood than it was in Heaven's Ward. Oh, it's been a while since we've been out here. Let's see, you just do the turtle quests. Yeah, I'm not gonna give a fuck about that. Hello, Yugiri. From here we will turn north until we arrive at a cave, through which we must pass in order to reach the Azim Steppe. Lise and Gosetsu have already gone on ahead. We should carry on as well. And of course we will, once we make sure that there's nothing else that we have to do here. No, there's not. Though I would very much like to get the rest of the ether currents here as well. Uh, looks like we're still one quest short. That's probably all the way the fuck over here. So, um, without further ado, we're gonna go right ahead and do that. Alright. Uh, remember how I said that there's a thing in here that's gonna give me fucking PTSD? Pretty sure I have to do it now. I'm about to find out. <sighs> it is so far away, but I cannot give up just yet. Oh, a visitor! My, your footsteps are so light I did not hear you approach. I could really use the assistance of one so as nimble as yourself. Do you see that sword protruding from that large boulder up there? I must find a way to procure it that I might accomplish my dreams. Like all the others, I want so desperately to explore the surface in search of treasure. To do so, however, I must first prove to the village elders I am worthy of embarking upon such excursions by retrieving that sword. My comrades have given me advice on how I might reach it, but every time I get close, I lose my footing and end up tumbling into the waters below. Could you perhaps do me a favor by demonstrating how I might get there? Come, let us move up above. I shall observe your life movements from there. Yeah, I remember this being annoying as fuck. So, uh, let's, let's go up. Do you spy that large plateau jutting out of the cave walls over there? Can you begin by jumping over to it? You must demonstrate to the Kojin that this feat can be accomplished without the use of outside help. Should you call upon a mount or fall into the water, you must start over from the beginning. Hop. And... Oh! I thought I didn't make it. I too can make it to the plateau, but it is from there that things become tricky. Every step must be taken with calculated precision, or you risk, like me, plummeting into the waters below. Oh, jeez. Yay! Ugh. Yay! Ugh, okay. Ah, so that is how you must do it. I shall give it a try. Right, what was that it? Did I really make it in the first try this time? Well, I sure can't make it there. Like that. I am beyond impressed. You are possessed of an incredible grace. It is clear to me now. One must tense all the muscles in their legs, then push off from the rock to gain enough momentum to make it to the next one. You have restored my confidence. Thanks to you, I am one step closer to fulfilling my dream of exploring what the world above has to offer. I can't believe I got it in one try. I can't even think of how many times I failed this on my first go. It, it, I made it look so easy. Ugh. I must have just been bad that day. I mean, I'm bad most days anyway, but particularly bad that day. Okay, we can now fly here too. Lovely. And now we go to the Azim Step, which is, uh... Uh... That way. Ah, Gosetsu. 
Ah, there you are. This is a cave. After you, Foxy. Anybody else out here? No? Well, all right then. Into the cave. Into the cave. There we go. I remember the emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. A sacred land, watched over by elder gods. Here, we would find Doma's salvation. With the wind at our backs, we walked on, in search of hope, in search of him. Here we are, the Azim Steppe. A vast open plain. Othard is vast and filled with many different peoples. I know next to nothing about the Zela and their ways, but we shall learn together, shall we not? It's very flat, except where it's not, I suppose. True. I give you the Azim Step, Foxy. Though I should say this is but one small portion of it. Despite the close proximity, Domans rarely venture far this north. This far north, rather. Most find these lands and their people strange and foreign. Fortunately, those who frequent reunion are more welcoming than most. Come, it is not much further. Let's go then. This place is actually quite lovely. Before we do anything, we need to go and find this ether current. I bet you it's out there, just to spite me. I knew it. I knew it would be down there. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to attune to the etherite. Look at all these merchant stalls and everything. Quite lively over here, isn't it? Alrighty. I must confess that this is my first time on the step. Is it just me, or is everyone here Zayla? I mean, they they kind of suggested that earlier. Welcome to Reunion, my friends. This is where we will begin our search for Lord Hien. Can't use any of that. When last I spoke with Lord Hien, he said he spent much time in these markets. I'd hoped we might find him here today, but alas. Hey, Yugiri, I've been meaning to ask. There are an awful lot of Zela here, aren't there? Oh, I assumed you knew. The Azim Steppe has been home to the nomadic tribes of the Zela since antiquity. 
More than 50 roam these lands, and though they do not constitute a nation, there is a hierarchy of sorts determined through ritual combat. Funny. If they're so busy fighting each other, you'd think the Empire would be able to march in and take the step with ease. I wonder why they haven't. Why indeed, Lise. Why indeed. Perhaps I see little value in it, given the, especially given the fierce reputation of the Zela warriors who would fight tooth and nail to oppose them. These lines were not made for men. The soil is thin and the weather unforgiving. The Zela found ways to survive, it is true. But they are made of sterner stuff than most Imperials, conscript, or citizen. Thanks for taking the time to explain. It sounds like I've got a lot to learn. Later, I mean, when we're well, we're meant to be looking for Hien. People from many tribes gather in, re in reunion to trade goods and information. I should be surprised if we cannot learn something of value here. Let us make our inquiries separately. Foxy, why don't you speak with some of the merchants here? Sure. Chambri. That's an interesting name, isn't it? Booze! Fresh booze! Your choice of lamb or zoe! Guaranteed to satisfy! How many will you have, miss? What the fuck is booze? Eh? A domen? Unless another Dazkar is keeping him in her yurt, he is not here. <laughs> More fool if she took a Doman for a husband. Oh dear. But enough about Domans, let us speak of booze instead. You cannot come to the Azim Steppe and not sample this most traditional of delicacies. What is it? You there, why don't you have a booze in your hand right now? Well, judging from the way they look... And she mentioned they come from animals... I'm not sure I want to know. Yes, we. What fortune you have to come hither at this time. Freshly slaughtered, every cut available on request. Organs too, hearts, livers, brains, or a brace of blood sausages if you desire only a snack. God, they're making me hungry. A domen? Poor meat they make domens. I jest, I jest. Hmm, I did see a young mole in the company of one some days ago. Hmm. Are you sure you do not wish to purchase anything? Organs as fresh as these will be gone before you know it. I'm good. Roasted fish with pumpkin, an exotic foreign delicacy cooked to perfection, beloved without the step. Come, come! You seek domens? Then you have come to the wrong place, my friend. Delicious as my foodstuffs are, they find little favor with those from the south. Now, if it were Goro you were looking for, on the other hand, then I might be able to help you. They flock to my stall. Goro, huh? Doubtless you know well the wonders of western cuisine. I need not persuade you to partake, yes? Come, come, eat your fill. Nah, maybe we'll eat later. Hmm... Well, how about you? I have brought you a new brush, my beloved. So smooth and silky your mane shall be. The envy of every other man. Hmm? Say again? You're seeking who? Ah, the Doman. I know of whom you speak. He comes and goes with a mole girl. Though I could not describe her, I only know that she is mole because I've heard them talking as they passed. With the chat mode and say, use your keyword or the software to s enter any phrase that contains mole to ask his alien reunion if they are the mole tribe. Oh, jeez. Oh, my dearest, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Dude, creepy love for your horse there. Oh, yes, let's get the falcon porter. Hmm. There, there, you did well to travel so far. Are you a mole? I am Uri, if you must know. Come down from the mountains to the no in the north, if there is nothing else. Well, you're not a mole. What the hell is a mole? Must be one of the tribes. Where shall we go next? Mole. 
You take me for a mole? I am Oranir. Compare me not with one so weak and lowly. Oh, jeez. Hmm, how about you? I did not think it would be so expensive. She's so pink. Yes, I am Mole. My name is Sirena. May I help you? Aha. Uh -huh. She's so adorable. I love her. Oh. Oh, I see. You are looking for Hien, in this case. How urgent this business must be to leave our conversation unfinished. The Kinsai. Will you buy it? There is but one bundle left. If not, then... I will, I will. Though I had not thought to pay so high a price. It is a bargain for which, you know, for which you should be grateful. If you lack the coin, then the fault is your own, and you will leave with nothing. Please, I must have the Kinsai. The gods themselves requested it. We are bound to their will. Pay me the difference in Whisper Root. I will sell it to the next apothecary to pass through reunion, and we will feel each, uh, and we will each feel fairly treated. But do not tarry. Should another come before you, coin in hand, I will not refuse him. I understand. Thank you for this kindness. Man, why don't you just let me buy it for you? I am sorry, but we must speak of Hien later. I cannot leave Reunion without that Kinsai. Oh boy. Fetch quests. You... You want to help me, is that it? I do not know what to say. Thank you, Foxy, thank you. The lumbering ones we must fell wander the plains to the west of Reunion. If we each harvest two, then we should have enough Whisper Root. Return here when you've finished. Good luck. She she isn't a particularly active character in the story, but I love Sirena. She just has that gentle anime girl kind of feel to her. And she's so pink. She is almost painfully pink. Aha! Uh -huh. These are the things that we need to kill. Oh, and they really want blood. I don't know if I should be using Holy Spirit and, Re and Requiescat together. I imagine I should. There we go. Whisper Root. Welcome back, Foxy. Have you brought the Whisper Root? Sure have. A common, if valued, ingredient in Zela Medicines. Blessed is, he, uh, blessed is he who shows kindness to strangers, for with fortune does he ever ride. Will this quantity suffice? It shall. The Kinsai is yours. The gods favor you for m uh, more than you know, child. Udgan rarely have need of such herbs, and so my stock is limited. Had you come a day earlier or later, I would have none for you. Perhaps the gods guided me here as they guided grandmother, as they guided this woman from the west. How goes the search? Any luck? <laughs> what fortune to meet a friend of the young master! Well met, Serena. 
If you have an inkling as to the current whereabouts of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, please! It is I who should be grateful. Hold! What is this? I came first, you second! Know you to whom you speak? All people of the steppe should. Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince. Twisted and mad as sand devils your kind are. Those two don't seem to like each other very much. Those boys are of the Oronir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. The children of Azim are destined to rule, so they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law. For now, grand, flamboyant fighters, but deadly, very deadly. He prances as a horse, as do his brothers after their many recent victories. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now, they are sorely tested. Ah, the Master of the Markets. He is Castilla. To fight in reunion is forbidden, and to break the peace is to be banished forever. This he says without words, for words are lies to the Castilla. They do not speak. That's... interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words! <laughs> As shall I! Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours! I, I look forward to the day! The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardum rules until the next Sahan San. Which in these lands is now. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The Mole are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be. She just has such a gentle voice, and I love her so much. Boots. Boots that we can barely see, which is probably for the better, because they probably don't match. The people have spoken, and Lord Hien will heed their words. He must. I like a good fight as much as anyone, but we should probably find Hien and head back to Doma as soon as we can. If she knows where Lord Hien is, then what are we waiting for? Ask her! Long ago, my grandmother, having received a vision from the gods, bade me go forth into the southern mountains. It was there that I found Hien, near death from many wounds. I brought him to our village, and there we nursed him back to health. Afterwards, he chose to remain, that he might repay us for our kindness. 
victim and set much store by honor and shame, so at first I did not question it. Excuse me, if I could see your map for a moment. Here, he has grown fond of this place. It affords him a view of the markets and the steppe. I would accompany you, but I must first return to our village to prepare my grandfather grandmother's meal. Thank you again for your assistance. Our long-awaited reunion is at hand. Come, my friends, let us go and greet our lord and master. Finally, time to find Hian. Or is it? <laughs> we have an ether current quest. Hello, traveler. As it happens, some of the local Kastiri merchants have been dealing with a problem involving your kind of late. Reunion is run by the Kestir. It, is n uh, it will not do you any favors to displease them. The tribe is famed for its dislike of speech. They believe that all words are merely lies. The Kastiri way is to show your intentions through your actions. Nothing else shall suffice for them. And yet, a merchant from far off lands has recently reappeared in Reunion, trying to force the Kistir to trade by using the very words they despise. Ignorance is no excuse. I have seen others attempt to explain their local custom to him. However, it matters not what anyone says if he will not listen. I would appreciate it if he were to take responsibility for this buffoon. No doubt he is still in the Khan's tent harping on. Well, I don't see why I should take responsibility for a complete hecking stranger. But, let's at least go and see if there's anything we can do. I don't suppose you'd fancy taking part in this conversation any time soon, would you? If I've done something to displease you, you need only tell me what... And just, who would you happen to be? If you're here to trade, then you'll have to wait your turn. I arrived first. What's that? You're not a merchant. Well, are you aware of the funny customs these Kestir have? Apparently words aren't much use, only actions will do. I was told as much by members of other Ari tribes, but I just can't bring myself to believe it. How can one run a market if they refuse to speak? Regardless, it does not appear that I stand to gain much from continuing to rely on speech. If even a fellow outsider such as yourself is telling me to follow the Kastiri customs, I suppose it is high time I acquiesced. Now that I think of it, if you're not a competitor, would you perhaps be interested in working with me? Seek me out if you'd like to hear more. I mean, you seem like a buffoon. Of course she doesn't speak. She's glad to see the back of Gascot, though. I would be too. The guy seems like a real idiot. Ah, uh, but I suppose we should see what he wants. Maybe we can get him out of here sooner and out of these people's hair. Ah, it's been an eternity since I had last had the chance to talk with a fellow traveler. The name's Gascot. I belong to the East Aldenard Trading Company, and I've been stationed in the Far East for a while now. I used to work at our Kugane office until a short while ago. Or it has it, it won't be long before Doma fully escapes the Empire's grasp. Very few merchants are going to pass up such a good opportunity to trade with a newly independent nation. I've always been a pioneer myself, and decided that I would make certain I was the first to explore this new potential trade partner. I brought bags full of foreign goods to impress the locals with. Yet despite this, I am unable to convince them to even talk to me, never mind take a look at my wares. If only they knew what harrowing obstacle I have overcome, obstacles I've overcome just to be here. Countless levies paid to pirates, daring escapes from fearsome bandits and beasts. I could go on forever. And what is my reward? The icy stare of a Kastiri woman. Until today, I had never met a lady that thought me anything but a charming gent. And it seems I am, uh, as it seems, I am not, uh, I alone am not up to this task. I wish to ask for your aid, knowledgeable adventurer. If you help me convince them to trade, I promise you untold discounts on everything I have for sale. Oh. No need to be so alarmed, friend. I merely wish for you to help me learn about the Kastiri customs. I would not dream of asking you to threaten them or force you to help me with, uh, help me with my work. That culture is unlike anything I've encountered thus far. 
If I'm to get anywhere, I must study all of the customs and deities that govern their day-to-day -day lives. Only then do I stand a chance of convincing them to trade. His information shall doubtless be equally valuable to you on your travels. Why, if I weren't such a humble man, I would demand you show your gratitude to me for giving you this opportunity. I'm gonna punch you in the face is what I'm gonna do. You know what else we're gonna do? Not work with you. Bye. <laughs> anyway. The, uh... Oh, it's up there, is it? So we have to go... around? You may think that we're missing out on some kind of lore by not helping that dude. We're really not. Everything pretty much gets explained in the main story quest. Well, there he is. The man we've been looking for. The Kami are merciful! My Lord Hien! I see you are alive and well. Ah, oh, you are come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? The people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us. Blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Not less than liberty will suffice, then. A pity. It would prove far more difficult to deliver than my head. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny them? You giddy! Go, Setsu! And, uh... The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Eorzea. Far across the sea they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. To oppose the Empire, as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. Say no more, you giddy. Say no more. I observed how you helped Cyrilla, to whom I am deeply indebted. For that, and for the aid you provided my people, you have my deepest gratitude. There is no doubting your strength, nor your character. It would be my honor to fight by your side. Good. No more brooding. So, what of Doma? Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home. I have made my decision. You, Giddy. I bid you return to Yansha and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me. I sense you will be a great help in the coming days. Your will is my command, my lord, but how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest? I mean to return at the head of the Zaya army. You mean to participate in the Nardum? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly we were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces, so yes, I intend to win the Nardum and enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. Furthermore, by championing the mole in the contest, I can at last repay their kindness. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death, and a man who suffers such debts to go unpaid is without honor and unfit to lead. <laughs> just so, just so. 
The Lord has spoken, Yugiri. But take heart. I shall keep him safe. And should it come to it, bring him back by force. This is no laughing matter, Gosetsu. But if these are my orders, very well. Once more, I place my faith in you. Pray look after them both. Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? So they say. Though in truth I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. For ours is an impossible dream. To set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. Ah, Lord Hian has joined the fray at long last. He's done being a sad lad. It's about damn time. And as the sun begins to rise on the Azim Steppe, we bring this episode to the close. Things are starting to heat up here. We've set the fire in the people's hearts for revolution. We found Lord Hien. Things are going to get interesting now. So. In the next episode, we shall continue the main story quest and probably finally do that paladin quest. But until then, my name is Foxy Games. You guys take care in the meantime. Bye.